All right, we finished up the pour here and we want to make sure that it was in line with the house here. It's a bit of problem solving, didn't have any string, whatever reason the tape measure is straight edge, but we had to we had to create a parallelogram in space because the opposite sides of a parallelogram are both parallel and congruent. We use the congruent feature to then prove parallel to the lovely house. So we took that corner bolt right there. We measured 12 feet out here and created an arc. Then we just went over here to the garage and we're using the, the concrete right here. Pop the point right here, 12 feet over here to Dr. Beelan. Then we measured, what do we do next? We measured from here to the, bolt. to the bolt and whatever that length was, 217 and a half inches. Put the dummy end of the tape right here, came back over here, scribed this arc right here. And now we have the tape lined up onto our uh, lovely little bolts there. And we are pretty dang darn square. That's math, man. Wow. <laughs> That is math. <laughs> uh, that's a, a rare use of the parallelogram yeah. for math in the wild. So that's so pretty... you're sitting in class <laughs> and you're like, why would this ever make sense? For me, as a high school principal, I would have never thought I would do that again. No, I didn't. I, but look at it. I wasn't sure if I'd do it again.